is going on today guys welcome back Monday back in the shop got a couple things to go over today not a real crazy day uh, we're gonna do some work on the first gen uh, snap on Ryan's headed over with a vehicle that I told him I'd give him a hand on seeing that it gets dark out as soon as you get off work he asked me if we could use the shop and I said yeah sure I'll give you a hand no big deal so uh, he's gonna be bringing by something he's got to do some work on we're gonna be giving him a hand uh, first up first up the Wrenchworks winter jackets I know I said I wouldn't mention anything I apologize but uh, we did add a little bit more stock. It's pretty much the max that we can order and guarantee, still guarantee you guys to get them by Christmas. So uh, if they're available online and say not sold out, go ahead and grab them. They're going to go quick um, and then those will get shipped out with the rest of them in a couple weeks so you can, guys can get them uh, before Christmas. So that is number one on the list. Number two is trying to clean the shop while we are still helping Ryan. Uh, third, like I said, we're going to do some work on the first gen. Uh, I already grabbed the first intercooler piping see we're tripping over stuff uh, to stuff back in here get that clamped up this pipe actually already has a bead rolled on it um, it's pulling off from the other boot this seeing that this is already a pre-made this was already a straight we just cut up here uh, this already has a bead rolled on it our other pipe over here uh, this does not have a bead rolled on it on either end so mark actually had gotten this this east wing east wood East, whatever you want to call it, eight inch heavy duty bead roller. He bought this, I don't even know what the heck he bought this for. Oh, for the danger. We are still turboing the danger, I think. I think we might have another plan, but this stinking, oh, get this out here. He bought this bead roller to use for that. I don't know how the heck to use this dang thing, but we do need, to, this thing looks beefy. This thing looks serious. So I want to try and roll the beads. Here it is. I want to, oh, it goes in the vise. We gotta bust out Harvey the vise over there. Uh, so I want to try and roll the beads on both of those intercooler piping and then just move on. I mean, we gotta, we gotta put some bolts back in the front. Uh, we gotta put the uh, coolant stuff back on. We are like super close to uh, getting this thing driving. Um, Here's the thing. I, I always ask your guys' opinion on the powder coat. So I've narrowed it down. We are gonna do a electric blue. I believe somebody commented on my Instagram. I'll have to go back and try and find it. Uh, it's like a, forget, forget what it was, like an illusion blueberry or something like that. It's a really cool electric blue color. Uh, imagine like a blueberry with like a chrome under base. So I wanna do that color. And I'd mentioned stuff about the 08. I'm gonna do like a lollipop fire engine red. Now, do you think the red would go better on this or the blue go better on this? Or do you think red on there or blue on there? I like those two colors. Those are the two colors I wanna to stay to. I know you guys are commenting about the red right here. The red would look good in here. I kinda of think both would look good. So leave a comment down below. I need to figure out how to do that whole YouTube poll thing, uh, but red or blue on the first gen because we will be pulling all of this stuff back out to powder coat it again i know we just got it back together but the second this thing hits any type of moisture outside this is going to all flash rust where we welded we don't want that to happen it's going to make it even more of a pain to uh coat so we will be pulling this back apart uh the powder coater that we use that's your local uh peter my man he uh he is really really quick so it won't be down that long um the other thing we need to build a uh we're dropping stuff hood stack which i already started to do and also fab up a support for this big charger kind of off of this hot pipe down here somewhere so we got to take a look at that the hood stack flange here we did start doing that just needs a little bit a little bit more massaging um, it actually needs to be needs to be kind of like stretched sideways uh to kind of fit this flange so we could get that like basically straight up and down so that's where the day's starting i know a little bit of a little bit of jibber jabber and letting you guys know what's happening uh we're gonna go ahead and get the 05 started up pull this up here so ryan can pull in this uh supercar that he's working on and uh we'll say hello to him he should be here any minute Ryan, 
Hi. Hi. Can I show them the uh, the supercar that we're working on now? Okay, well now you just gave it away. <laughs> now you just gave it away. All right, here she is, boys. Woo! Look at this thing. Six cylinders of raw power. Uh, you're pushing. I think it's only four. Oh man, get this thing out of my shop. Get this thing out of my shop. Side work for days. <laughs> Ryan's, Ryan's trying to make those dollars, man. What are we doing to this thing? Rear brakes. Rear brakes. Do, do you know what you're doing? Wheel speed sensors and backing plates, because for some reason, you know, the left side rotted out. Yeah, this thing's got a little, uh, little rust action happening. A little love, a little love. All right, so we're gonna give Ryan a hand here. Meanwhile, maybe try and clean the shop up. My camera's doing this funny thing where it's starting to shut off randomly. Oh, get some grease. Who? This is Jack. What are you doing? Well, you know, I was hoping that you'd bring me a snap on one, but we're gonna we're gonna use Old Faithful what? for now. Freaking a Harbor Freight one. What do you want one for me for? I don't I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I may I have put it together. Okay, it, the yellow matched the tools. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to go with the color thing. All right, stand by. Stand by for progress on the Hyundai Ferrari. Look at this. This thing right here. These things are no good. Ryan, what? where is the special key? Oh, you, you do have it. Oh boy. I don't mix this stuff up. Well, I'm just saying, how many, how, raise your hands, how many people have these dumb things on there, lost the key, and next thing you know, you're in a world of pain. Just saying, it does happen. It does happen. Oh, you want them, not using them. Ryan, come back. Nope, Ryan, fine. come back. I've got something for you. I, I got At least it's red. Ryan, Ryan does not want to use, he won't, his hands, are allergic. I'm not allergic. I've, you, I, we did my transplant with a Milwaukee tool, but I didn't have any other options. Oh, so now my Ingersoll rain is, is, is pulling up first place. I used to own one. I was a mechanic. <laughs> mechanic? Mechanic. You know, if I keep bothering you, we're never going to get this done. No, we're not going to get this done. Okay, I'll stop pestering you. By the hour, so oh, boy. Oh, boy. This, bre this break job's going to be about 10 hours. Does it count dinner time? All right. So when you're keying your life and luggage. Uh, what did I what did I tell you the first problem that we were gonna have is that stupid locking key and go figure uh, Somebody must have used an impact wrench to put it on last which was not Ryan. We won't throw Ryan on the bus, that but uh, We had to use good old. Where is it? Thank thank good buddy mark for the big old east wing. We had to slam Ryan now owes me a socket, but don't worry. It was only a craftsman socket that we had to uh, oh, I can get that one out of there Oh, <laughs> yo, gee, thanks. <laughs> we, we we may have had to sacrifice a uh, craftsman three quarter twelve point socket. <laughs> homemade homemade key removal. Uh, the other side came off, but this side no bueno. So challenge number one complete. <laughs> Need tires. Man, this Ferrari is pretty hard to work on already. Step number one. All right. Tell us about problem number 740 that we've been having. Step step, step two. Forget impact driver at home. Well, look at, let, me, let me see this thing that I do not have. You need one of these. Trucks don't have them, so no, I don't. But Your wife drives a Jeep. Okay, why don't you use E-Swing? I don't want the bit to break. So you're scared is what you're saying. Listen, All right, we've so already had enough go wrong tonight. <laughs> and we're only on step three. We're only on step three. All right, so we did have to go run and grab Ryan's uh, fancy whacker tool. <laughs> Let's see what else can happen. Use your purse, Ryan. <laughs> I literally made him stop hitting it so I could video him hitting it so I could say that line. You're doing a great job, Ryan. I know. Ryan, those don't look like new parts. They're not. Surrender. The white flag is up. For tonight. For tonight. This has to be done another night. Because... It needs a hub bearing. Needs a hub. We took it all apart. We don't have a hub. We called around. No hub available. So, unfortunately... This is not getting done tonight. The other side will get done. Not this. Not this side. The Ferrari will be back. The Ferrari will be back. 
you probably won't see it. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But So while we're putting that back together, I figure I'd tell you story time. So I constantly get asked about the tint on all of the trucks, um, the tint setup. Uh, most trucks like this one, this is a 20% windshield, 5 and 20 all the way around it. Uh, even the 08 has uh, a layer of 5 and 20, and the windshield's like 35 on that. And of course, you guys probably see that I don't run a front license plate. Well, uh, today it did bite me in the butt. Um, I did get pulled over today. Uh, actually speeding um, in the left lane passing people uh, in the 08 at work um, I'm sorry Ali she didn't she doesn't know about this yet she'll probably see it tomorrow uh, but it's okay it's okay this is, the, the story's not that bad so uh, we got pulled over the state trooper was not all that impressed uh, I may have forgotten that my 75 miles an hour on my uh, speedometer really means about 80 ish so we were going about about 80 uh, that's what the uh, gentleman said you know of course I'm always polite and respectful to uh, uh, all law enforcement. I have the utmost respect for them. Uh, definitely in the wrong. Didn't try and uh, skate out of it one way or the other. What am I going to say? I have 10 on my windshield and I have a front license plate. It is what it is. Um, so I was respectful. I was kind. He goes, do you know how fast you're going? I said, you know, I tried to pull the old like 70-ish. He goes, no, you're going 80. Uh, and you're in the left lane, uh, which you're not supposed to be, which that's really a very subjective because I was technically passing people. But um not allowed to travel in the left lane. You guys, some of you guys beat me up about that, but most of the time I am passing people. Um, so he goes, you got two things working against you there. And then he walked back to his car and then he came back and had to mention the tint and the front license plate. So um, I was pretty sure I was getting some, some pretty big tickets. Luckily, um, you know, yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir, kind of, you know, like I said, uh, I just, you know, I'm in the wrong. What am I going to do? I'm not going to give the guy attitude about it. So um, came back and gave me warnings, uh, but I did get a ticket for the tint and the no front license plate. Now, I don't know. Uh, I think a lot of other places, it's a pretty expensive ticket for tint uh, in New Jersey, unless it's gone up in the last couple months. Um, I get a couple tint tickets a year, probably, I don't know, maybe two or three. Uh, they're 55 bucks. I don't have to fix them. There's no fix it tickets. Uh, it is what it is. It's kind of like the cost of, of having them. Um, it, don't get me wrong, it sucks, but I mean, I'm not taking the tint off of my vehicles and I am not going to drill a front license plate mount in my truck. So, uh, uh, that's the story. That, those are the stories of today. Um, right, Rye? Oh, always entertaining. Always. No no tint? No, 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 no. That's why we don't have tint. Ryan, you need a haircut, buddy. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm aware of what I need. Remember they made fun of you last time? You had like that funny, well, that, that funny haircut? The, the, the filers shamed me so much that I didn't get another one. <laughs> I get this haircut at this really, really nice place. Uh, it's called At My House uh, with Buzzers, and Allie does it. Uh, so I got, I got a great, uh, I got a great barber. This is the final fitment of the other one with it completely welded up. So what I'm going to do is this is actually like a, a six foot, or not a six foot, but it was like a, a foot long boot that you just cut into sections. Uh, it's kind of pushed up, kind of high. So I'm just going to put push this down a little bit, cut like maybe maybe like an inch off of that then it'll be like a normal three inch section that'll be the boot for that but we gotta try and roll some beads i don't know if we're gonna get to that tonight because me and ryan are just kind of just kind of hanging out not really not really taking tonight uh all that seriously so alrighty guys we're all set with this ferrari brake job coming at you ryan's gotta go he's gotta pick up little kitties so ryan is blazing the trail out of here not a completely ses successful mission, but we did get the brakes done. Call up for safety. Look at that, no squeaks. No squeaks. What? No squeaking. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I just heard something. See ya. I hate to bail on you guys, but I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to head home right now. Uh, we should be able to catch Reagan right before she goes to bed, which I really do not want to miss a whole lot of that. So we are going to head home. That's pretty much going to do it for this video. Not a whole lot of truck content, really just kind of helping Ryan, hanging out with Ryan. Uh, it was a great night. We had a good time, even though uh, the Ferrari maintenance did not go as planned. So, Love you guys. Thanks for your support. I'll see you guys soon. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I promise we'll be back on back on the first and you can guarantee you that so that's it see ya